Here's Tiger Heli. Came out in 1986 by Taito. With me here is Tim Muffins Man, who is going to help me review this game. Actually, he's going to review the whole thing himself. So here he is. Here I is. Okay, I'm sorry if I suck, but this is my first game review. So, I'll just start off by saying this is your... Well, one of the earliest vertical side scrolling shooters that didn't suck balls. This started the generations of many helicopter-based games that you might have seen on your computer and whatnot. As you notice, you only have one shot strand of missiles going forward. You can shoot enemies, mostly being tanks and ships and turrets, and you can get upgrades that can give you more shots. On the sides, you can see two packs of bombs there, sort of. They're red, and when you drop them, it releases a area where all the enemies blow up. If an enemy happens to hit one of those, or in that general area where your bomb is on the side there, instead of actually killing you, it will just drop and blow up the enemies around you. So, it's, it's kind of a waste of a bomb, but that's okay. As you noticed, I'm blowing up houses and cars too, which aren't enemies at all, but that's okay. Because here they're letting you do that to get extra points, just on the side there. It's the basic point of the game is points, because if you actually happen to get to the end of the game, guess what? You start all over again! Hooray! Now you feel accomplished. Anyways, a point in this game is you should probably memorize what's going on. The first time through, you're gonna suck. Just letting you know. But after you've gone through a couple times, you know where enemies come from, because they come from weird places that make it difficult sometimes. Here on screen you can see a cross that I just hit. Depending on the color, it depends on the upgrade that appears. You hit it red, and you get a red little heli, which shoots off to the left. Or right, to the side, whatever. A white one gets a white little heli, which shoots forward, and a green one just gives you an extra bomb. The upgrades at the end of the level will also give you bonus points, 5,000 for each one, for each bomb and each little heli you have left. The little heli also acts as a shield, if you noticed I already lost it because it blew up. Yeah, they blow up pretty quickly, but that's okay because they're really helpful for the time being. It also changes the music. Although the music isn't too bad to begin with, it does change up a little bit, that's kinda nice. It's... it's just a nice change, you don't want to listen to the same thing through the whole game. With each life, it's really nice too, though, because it starts you off basically right where you were, instead of bringing you back to the beginning or some really hugely far away checkpoint or something like that. I have yet to discover what those do. Something tells me they're just bonus points, but I'm not entirely sure. Those little boxes with the red diamond on them. At the end of each level you land and receive your bonus points for what you have. And get a catchy little tune. Hooray. The general point of the game seems to be just to infiltrate some kind of enemy base. As you make your way in, you can, it kind of actually sort of looks like a base more when you actually get in there. And there are, of course, more enemies and more bullets to dodge. Although it is completely possible, it's not like too hard, there's not a huge amount of enemies on the screen at one time, at any time. It's, it's very possible, it's not always easy, but it's hugely... It, it also depends on like, if you know what's going on. Lots of enemies will come in stupid places and you'll get shot as they shoot you. It's really annoying. Shoot 
shooting inanimate objects again. Just random crates going along, and you get points for shooting anything that doesn't have a point. Which is nice. I mean, lots of games do that now, you don't even think about it. You can just kill innocent civilians, no one really cares. There's a first kind of mini-boss thing, a little tank that shoots at you every once in a while. And is annoying to kill, mostly with bombs. There's that nice music change with the little heli. And I died. Okay, so here we're watching two-player mode. Extremely fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... 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 You always sped it up. It's just... It's just too much. Same basic thing. It's not cooperative. That would have been nice to play two at a time, but the object of two-player mode is actual... It's like a point battle. Who can get the most points in the lives they're given. And when one player dies, the other one takes their life, and if once they're all out, you just see who has the most points at the end. I think that was me. This is, this is Joey here. Let's see how bad he sucks. What? 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 You just give me a break. I haven't played this game in forever. Well, I just played it for the first time today, so you can shut up. I already love it though, that's how amazing this game is. It barely has a point, because you just start over, but whatever, it's fun. And dead.